Hello, Space Coast, and welcome to the News in 90 Seconds. I'm Luann Manderville. A bipartisan push in the Senate could extend the life and NASA's control over the International Space Station. In a 2019 budget request, the Trump administration proposed ending direct government funding for the ISS by 2025, a timeline Senators Bill Nelson and Ted Cruz argue is arbitrary and premature. Cruz and Nelson, both members of the Senate Subcommittee on Space, Science and Competitiveness, said in a hearing Wednesday that the report from NASA Inspector General provided a closing argument against the Trump administration's plan to privatize or abandon the outpost, saying NASA should extend its life until at least 2028. And in other space news, a nationwide strike of United Launch Alliance could end this weekend when union members return to vote on a revised contract. About 600 members of the union, which are responsible for hardware-related work, such as rocket assembly and launch operations, turned down a three-year contract offer on May 7th and began picketing at ULA's centers of operation in Florida, Alabama, and California. The union has recommended that members approve the new contract during a vote this Saturday. And fins up! Hilton the Great White Shark has returned to the east coast of Florida. According to OSEARCH, the Shark Research and Advocacy Group, the 1,326-pound great white shark pinged off the coast of Sebastian and Vero Beach at 8.20 p.m. Wednesday. Yes, we know the ocean is full of sharks, but at least we know where this one is. And that's your news in 90 seconds. Thanks for watching.